What's up, guys? It's Kevin. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, if your printer has the ink light uh, in red, and you get this message: a printer's ink pad is at the end of its service life. Please contact Epson support. When you contact Epson support, and uh, you find out that you need to uh, take a second home mortgage to pay for the service. What happens is every time you clean a cartridge. Uh, the printer will gonna suck up a little bit of ink and deposit into the printer. So where did the ink go? It goes to either those uh, printer tampons or uh, goes to those little nice boxes that have a sponge in the middle. When it's new, you can, you can see it's, it's like a totally clean white, but then you get more ink. You get more ink after you use it and eventually it's going to look like this. The printer has an internal counter that counts how many times you use the pad. So if you simply just uh, change into a new pad, the printer will not know that you have a new pad. And you still have the exactly same problem as before. And also most of the times, from what I saw, is uh, your pad is not full at all. It just reached that magic number. So if you just simply using a software program to reset a counter back to zero, and uh, that will solve the whole problem. Uh, there are quite a few uh, software claim to be able to do this on the internet. However, some of them has a virus, some of them pretty hard to use. And uh, then there are a couple of them, they say it's free, but after you download it, they're gonna ask you, to buy a code, and they do, they said the free is a simulating reset is free, so you can simulate it. Anyway, uh, let me uh, let me just show you one software that I use for myself. Um, I use the software from Inkchip that night. It has a uh, it has a software to turn your uh, printer into chipless, and also it has other set of software called WIC software. That's a with ink pad counter reset, WIC. Okay, and this is, uh, I'm gonna show you today, it's WIC. But before you purchase their key, um, here you can see, they can, you can purchase here, the, this price. Uh, that's $9.99, not $900, and not $900, $9.99. Nine cents. Uh, the first thing you do is, uh, you check if your printer is covered on this list. Uh, for example, today I'm going to reset uh, my short color P600. Okay, so you can see uh, my short color P600 is covered. Now I can go ahead and uh, make a purchase. After I pay for it and I get the key, and then now I can go to the download. The download section is right below where you made your purchase. It's choose your language. And uh, I choose the English. Uh, you can see the file is on the way to my download folder. Uh, the installation is uh, straightforward. Uh, just double click and install. And after install, I can just click the Windows Start. Uh, here's a recently added program. It's called uh, Inkchip WSC. I'll do the English version. And you can see a pretty intuitive uh, interface. I'll click uh, the with encounter, and uh, here I don't see any printer. To use it, you need to use a USB cord to pl physically plug up your computer into the printer. Uh, you cannot use wireless. So now I plug my USB cord in. Let me just click this, refresh it, and see uh, my printer just showed up. And now I can read the counters, see how much is in there. Actually, it's a zero. Ah, I mean, I'm probably not going to reset this one. Okay, guys, it's going to be a little bit loud here. We're going to let's try this uh, this printing instead. Twenty seven fifty. Okay, let's fire up our ink chip software, and uh, we we go to with counter, and uh, now I'm going to plug in this printer. And click refresh, and you can see that it's 2750. 
and uh, let's see how much how much we stand. Ooh, seventy eight percent. So we're gonna reset it. So we click the reset, and uh, then we put in the key we bought. There we go, and say okay. Done. We start a printer and finish the counter reset process. Okay, now we should start a printer and let's uh, read. See, all zero percent. Uh, what I'm suggesting is uh, before you actually buy the key and reset it, uh, go ahead and download this program and uh, run it. From my experience, if your printer is not showing up on this list, uh, there are two reasons. One is you got too many printers, uh, like me, you got 200 printers, then it's really hard to find one. But if you can, if you can like get one or two printer, you plug it in, it didn't work, it didn't show up, uh, it's probably your printer is not uh, on that uh, compatibility list. So either check that list or check it here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com. Cheers.